Welcome guys once again. You are in the kitchen with Chef R. Allen and today we're doing a we're doing a crab carbonara and pasta, summer crab carbonara pasta dish. Uh, real simple and uh, easy to make and we're gonna start it right here. Okay. So right now I have my uh, I got the oil, well I got the butter on medium heat right now. Cause uh, I already got the pasta made because I don't want to make the pasta while you're cooking the pasta. You want to do the sauce and then you, you know, in a hurry trying to mix them both at the same time. So this is already done. I got the pasta. I, I like certain, you can do whatever pasta you like. I like the pasta with the holes in it where the cheese sauce can go right through. I mean, I, I think that's good. Uh, so we're going to start off. I got a little, I got a little butter going. Put a little bit of this olive oil. And uh, I'm gonna throw a little bit of the garlic in here. And like I said, you got it on medium heat. Put a little bit of this garlic. Oh yeah, we don't like garlic. I do my capers, I got capers, I, I wanted to uh, Rinse and drain the capers. So you're gonna throw that in here too. For about three to four minutes. Oh yeah, three to four minutes. Guys, once again, once again guys, thank you guys for watching and, and, and liking and subscribing, but most definitely guys for your support. Uh, couldn't have done it without you guys. And today it is a uh, Crab, it is a summer crab carbonara and pasta. Okay, while we had that going down, bring this up closer. Okay. I love I love my, the lump the blue crab, so I got I got the blue crab cut up, chopped up. Uh usually the chives, but if you don't have chives, which is sometimes hard to find at the store fresh chive, you can do scallions. So I have scallions, I got the garlic. I got the Romano, the Romano and Parmesan cheese, which is, you can't beat that. Now, since this is heating up, I'm using some of the pasta liquid that I cooked the pasta with. And we're gonna let that cook, let that heat up a little bit. Okay, so I'm using, I'm using eggs, I'm using eggs, just the yolk. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. You know, so basically we're just taking the, you're just taking the egg and you mess, you moving it around in your hand and get, because you just want the yolk. And we're going to move this away and, and we're not going to use this here. Okay. Can't beat this, guys. Okay, like I say, I like I like to I like to make it real simple, you know, nothing dramatic about it. I got the chives, I got the eggs, I got the the crab. Of course, I, I'm gonna use the garlic bread with that. So while this is cooking and simmering, we're gonna we're gonna put the pasta in here and bring this down. And while that's simmering, we're gonna put the pasta in here. And like I say, the recipe will be. You have the recipe at the bottom of the description. Okay. I'm gonna let that let that cook up. You got the garlic. Like I said, we put more garlic in. You can't go wrong with garlic. No, you can't. Put that in there. I'm gonna let this cook for about four minutes. Four more minutes, but then, like I said, we're gonna whip, we're gonna whip the eggs up. But you want to constantly keep stirring this. You want to constantly keep stirring. Oh, you can smell this garlic. Yes. Okay. While that's while that's cooking, you want to put some of this crab in here.
Can't get enough of that. Put that over here. Wanna keep stirring that? Like I said, I, I, I like the lump crab, I like the blue crab. I mean, I, I call it summer, I call it summer crab. You know, because it's, it's, it's best in season at this time. And uh, it's, it's, it's summer crab. Summer crab carbonara. As always, I like to clean as I go. Okay, so while this is stirring, this, it's on medium. I'm gonna keep this on medium. But I'm gonna take take it off the heat, you know, when, when I put the eggs and cheese in. So I'm gonna add a little lemon juice and a little chai. Like a little, can't go wrong. For a little seasoning, a little slap your mama. A little salt and pepper, a little seasoning in here. But the garlic and, and the lemon juice and the chives and all that's gonna make your own. So I'm gonna add a little, we'll put the chives in last. So, like I said, we just, it's just the yolk. You wanna nicely beat the yolk. And this is the trick here, guys. When you're stirring it up, like I said, you're going to take it off the heat. But right now, we're going to let this cook another few minutes. Oh, yeah. Put your scallions. And bring this in closer so you guys can see. Put your scallions in here. I'm gonna put a little more. Like I said, if, if you can get fresh chives, that work. If not, scallions is just as good. It's just as good. Put a little more of the liquid, the pasta liquid. And guys, I like I like to do it real simple, you know, guys, so I don't, you know, like I said, for the working moms and stuff, you know, they want to cook for the kids or, or just just the person that just got off work and, you know, want to come home to a good meal instead of fast food. And it's real simple. And you see how quick that took, maybe 25, 30 minutes at the most. Okay. So we're gonna take this off, we're gonna take this off the heat. And as we stir in this, we're gonna add that way you don't want to be scrambled eggs in here. You're gonna take this off the heat. Stir this up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And like I say, you, you wanna you wanna get a consistency on the sauce, how you want the sauce. If it gets too thick, you can always add more pasta water. I'm gonna move this stuff out the way. Get this stuff out your way. Okay, I'm gonna add my cheese. Oh, you see, that's if that's the consistency you want. And you got the garlic. Now you're gonna add your you're gonna add your Romano cheese. Like I said, the recipe at the bottom of the description. I mean, I love my cheese, so it's up to you how much you want to put in here. You 
You got your lemon juice. Like I say, you got your lemon juice. You got your garlic. You got your parmesan. And you can always, you know, if they got any thick, which this is a, a nice consistency to me, which is a beautiful consistency on your sauce. See, that's perfect. I'm doing a little more cheese. Can't get enough of that. Who can get enough of cheese? Okay, guys. I got my garlic bread already in the oven cooking. So that's, that's already was cooking, so I'm going to put that on the side. That's going to be my garnish. I'm going to garnish that. Move this stuff out the way. Okay, we're gonna stir this cheese up a little more. And guys, oh yes, yes. And this, guys, is summer crab carbonara pasta. I mean, you could, you know, of course you can put any different meats in that you want, but I'm just giving you a foundation on, on what works. You know, shrimp work, chicken work, I mean, whatever works for you guys. And that, Stir that up good. Put me some more, put some more chives in here. I mean, some more scallions. Move that out the way. Oh, yes. And that. I'm going to cut up some, uh, cut up couple of slices of lemon for the garnish. Put that on to the side. Oh yeah. Move that here. Garnish up this plate. Oh, yes. Put a little more extra cheese down on it. Put me a couple of rolls here. Oh, yeah. Real simple. Top it off with a little more cheese. And let me, gotta taste this. And guys, once again, you guys are awesome. Thank you guys for liking and subscribing. This here, is my crab, my summer crab, man, I'm just telling you, it's my summer crab car uh, carbonate. Man, it is, it is delicious. Summer crab carbonara pasta, carbonate, I love it. Try this out. Guys, it's real simple. Thanks as always. You guys are awesome. This is my summer crab carbonara pasta. Until next time, you are in the kitchen with Chef R. Allen. Until then, you guys have a great day.